Welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. Sheridan Voice, he wrote today's reading, and he titled it, Which Wisdom? Just before Easter 2018, a terrorist entered a market, killing two people and taking a third woman hostage. When efforts to free the woman failed, a policeman made the terrorist an offer. Release the woman and take him instead. The offer was shocking because it went against popular wisdom. You can always tell a culture's wisdom by the sayings it celebrates, like the celebrity quotes that get posted on social media. The biggest adventure you can take is to live the life of your dreams, one popular quote reads. Love yourself first, and everything else falls into line, says another. Do what you have to do, for you, states a third. Had the police officer followed such advice, he'd have put himself first and run. The Apostle James says there are two kinds of wisdom in the world, one earthly, another heavenly. The first is marked by selfish ambition and disorder. The second, by humility, submission, and peacemaking. Earthly wisdom puts self first. Heavenly wisdom favors others, leading to a life of humble deeds. The terrorist accepted the police officer's offer. The hostage was released. The policeman was shot. And that Easter, the world witnessed an innocent man dying for someone else. Heavenly wisdom leads to humble deeds because it places God above self. Which wisdom are you following today? Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from James chapter 3, verses 13 through 18. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show it by their good life, by deeds done in the humility that comes from wisdom. But if you harbor bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast about it or deny the truth. Such wisdom does not come down from heaven, but is earthly, unspiritual, demonic, For where you have envy and selfish ambition, there you find disorder and every evil practice. But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere, peacemakers who sow in peace reap a harvest of righteousness. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for who you are and your wisdom. Help us to seek you and please give us the kind of wisdom that leads to humble deeds done in love and humility. Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for listening today. I'm Stephen Tabor and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.